Hi there, my name is Mr. Amplin, uh, and I'm the uh, curriculum leader for sport and enrichment within Bailey Oak Academy. I just want to quickly um, go through some revision tips, basically, for the two courses that we offer in PE. You'll see on the screen now that we uh, we offer GCC PE and we're also Cambridge National PE, and both of these courses are both run uh, at the same time during uh, lessons. In doing so, I'm going to talk about each one as I go through the PowerPoint. So I'm just going to talk about GCC PE first and how and how you might be able to um, support with revision, but also how students can revise at home. So there were four components of that. There are two exams. There's a practical assessment, which we put them through at school, and then there's a piece of course, which they complete uh, for 14 hours at school. The two exams break down into paper one and paper two. Paper one is all about the anatomy and the physiology of the body. And these are all the modules that the students will cover and will be in the exams uh, for November mocks, March mocks and then also in the um, exams in June. Paper two is um, more about the um, more practical elements of sport and how these things and how sport might be affected by the media. And in the November mocks, 2.1a, b and c will all be in the exam. However, come March and June next year, sports psychology, health and fitness and diets will also be within that uh, examination. So the, both these exams um, are all found within our revision guides for PE. These can be um, purchased upon uh, parent pay. You'll see there's, there's, there's three different revision guides on there. And over the last few years, um, the company that we use has, has changed slightly their um, marketing on each book. So for those in year 11 now, the more likely to have the ones in the center there, which is the white exam practice question booklet. Then there's a red book, which, booklet, which is all more about the revision guide with giving you all the content that we need to learn and then a set of revision cards. Those people that have signed up to GCP over the past two years, um, probably more likely in year nine, year 10, you will probably have the purple book now, which we use, which has got the combined red and white book together, allowing for the students to revise any content missed or revise content they've learned in lessons and then practice the questions which follows the um, same topic as you go through the book. Those people that have got older siblings um, within school or maybe didn't buy another revision guide but have the old one at home might well have the white one on the left hand side of the screen and that one again has the content within it but um, it, it hasn't changed greatly from that at all just in a different format. Okay, so any of these books will be really, really useful. There are also some white cards in the center there. and Those are also available on parent pay as a single item. Um, and those are really useful because they have about 150 cards in them. Um, they're reversible either side. So at least in that you can ask questions and they can be really good resource for parents to ask questions to students or equally for students to, to, to do peer, peer assessment with each other. And that allows them to be able to answer questions and just quickly retain information needed. We've also set up on Google Classroom a lot of resources. Um, every single week when the lessons are taught, there are the lessons put on there for students to engage with. So anyone that might miss the lesson or might want to go back to the lesson just to look over it again, every lesson is there on the Google Classroom over the past two and a half years. They will all go back there and the students can go and find that PowerPoint and use it as they wish. There's also a section on our Google Classroom, which is, um, is called Revision Topics. And you'll find there for all the topics that come up in the November box, you will find there every single topic we've covered from the start of year nine through to the end of year 11. This will also be useful because over the next couple of months, as we finish off the last couple of courses uh, for students as they move into the full exams next year, they will also be added on here and will be useful as students prepare for their exams next year. So please do have a look at this because there's plenty of things in each folder to engage and to, to uh, support students. Other little revision um, sort of tips I'd give you for GCPE is that students really like in using the Seneca. Um, we've used Seneca within lessons before, equally um, across other, other subjects in the school as well. Very easy for them to get onto, look for OCRPE and engage with the course. This is interactive and allows students to be able to just have a go at, at key retentional questions. Students also like to use Kahoot and BlueKit within lessons, which again are really useful uh, to remember key information and then challenge them in, an, in a more stimulating environment. And again, this can be done at home. Practice exam questions are supplied within class, but they're also on Google Classroom. So students can print them off, students can have a go with them online, uh, students can look at them online and complete them on paper. But again, this gives students practice time to, to, to complete the questions that will come up in, in later uh, examinations. We have created my maps within lessons, but again, um, this would be really useful, to, useful way of remembering the information, trying to take off out, out, of, out of their 